earlier today, I was uh, getting ready. I was getting ready in the morning. Holy crap, that scared the shit out of me. And I saw this video, and it absolutely infuriated me. Now, before we get too far into this video, I don't know where this helicopter comes from. There's a lot of land owned in the United States by China. It would not shock me, and I'm going to have to do a little bit of research to figure out, hey, where does China own land in our United States government? Where do they own land? Is it by the farms? Right? Is it by the farms? And if so, how far is it away from the area of the disaster of Helene? Because they could be the ones sending this over to kind of mess with the optics because America has never been more divided than it has been. But just let's watch this. Saying this afternoon, an unmarked military style helo flies in into the local distribution area and rotor washes i.e. gets real close to the ground with the wind and destroys the supplies in Burnsville, North Carolina. This is a donation center for where the, the victims of Hurricane Helene can at least this go or this is the area that it gets distributed. Either way, this is not the area to be doing this. Right? And you have so many different angles that this happened. We had a meeting with all parties involved at this site and established it as a no-fly, no-drop zone hours before and had sent crews to resupply helos at another area. This was not one of our helos. Look, just this thing coming over. They flew in, hover around for a bit, looking like they wanted to land despite our signals telling them no. Then they dipped down and performed the rotor wash, which seemed deliberate then flew off, destroying a lot of staging area and harming people directly blew them into the stage area. I was conducting a canine security sweep across the parking lot. This helo was unmarked and we were able to zoom in and see mass persons who flies and unmarked helos like this, special forces or private contractors. Local PD came in and we've been trying to find and track their flight info, find out where they are, where they flew in from, nothing, they're ghosts. 40 minutes prior to this, two unmarked black SUVs running blue lights rolled in, circled around, and immediately left. They were not local law enforcement and not anyone had been in, uh, affiliated with. This is what makes me think this is either like CIA, FBI, Homeland Security coming in and trying to disrupt the American, the true American civilians and how they're distributing the goods. They're doing a better job than FEMA and the Secret Service and everything and all else accords, right? And we've already known that FEMA has, has blockade and threatened arrest of Americans who are trying to help other Americans. So this could either be the government coming in and stopping Americans so that they can do their quote-unquote job and, and stop this optics of them not looking like they're doing their job because they're not doing their job. They're doing a terrible job at doing their job. Or, once more, I think this could be even China. Who has agents of provocateurs over here to already meddle with us and divide us even more so because we are already a nation divided. You can clearly see the supply setup, blue tents, and etc. I mean, this is pissed me off. Right, this is the worst. You see tents flying, supplies flying, all of this just getting destroyed, hitting people. Yeah. Dude, a canopy, a metal canopy coming around and flinging around and you're bent over and you look around and that thing smacks you across the face. You could be done. If you're a weak person. Look, it does this. It destroys this whole area and it flies away. So where are they? Why did they do this? Popped up on my timeline this morning. You know, and thank God for an app called like Twitter. Thank God for an app like Twitter for people who could literally just record this shit, post it up and be like, yo, what the ever living hell is going on here for those in my previous video saying I'm spreading lies this is the reality of what's happening in areas across North Carolina I'm seeing it with my own eyes this is the issue when you have like KGP which is the vice president or the president's spokesperson who say when stuff like this happens you're spreading misinformation you're spreading lies that is a dangerous question what you're asking is dangerous what is it dangerous to your establishment the world federal organization the WEF World up economic forum economic forum like what is the who what is we who are the American people really against right because it's all politicians on our bureaucrats and they are not American Pelosi AOC the president Harris all of these people 
are not true Americans. They wear the banner. They try to take all the good things from it, but they are the worst people. They are scum on this earth. And these people are so confused. Like, if I don't understand. If this doesn't infuriate you, I don't yeah. know what does. Look what they did. Look what that helicopter. Oh, my Look God. Look what they did. Look what they did. Look what that helicopter did. You see what I mean? Like, look, you have so many different people who are posting this all online. All different angles. This guy looks like a guy I play paintball with. He's coming down. How does this not infuriate you? What is going on? You have people saying over here, yo, get out of here. Leave. Get. Yeah. Oh. All of this is just so infuriating. They don't like it when we work together. We realize they don't need us and that we can't have it. I, I know. I know. I see it over here. <laughs> None yet. It's just because we don't have a defense in. No, all, all defenses. I should have put. Where's my mind? This one. Hmm? I should have put Camara as my top one. <laughs> I was like, it's either Patty or Camara. It's, it's... 